Okay, this is Power Twist Adjustable Length V Belt. It's got a 3 8 inch wide uh, size here. And uh, there's some copycat companies out there that they make adjustable length belt, but um, I don't know the names of them. You could try and use a cheaper belt uh, that's just a fixed length belt, but every bicycle varies in, uh, slightly. Um, you'll need about 74 and a half inches of this type of uh, this belt, give or take two inches. So, you know, when you buy the kit, you usually get or the belt, you usually get 80 inches, just to make sure you have enough. And what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to loop this around the rim of the tire, and you're going to put this tab through the hole here and then you're gonna twist this tab sideways like that sideways like that and you're gonna bring it through there so usually I use a little pair of needle nose pliers to do that part let's give it a try okay so these these are the ends of the tab the spokes right here these are the sp spoke ends and they hold the spokes in place and what happens is is the bicycle is going to spin up and this belt it's going to spin in this direction right here when you pedal and you want these tabs facing in that direction going opposite of the the uh, direction of, of uh, rotation so they'll sit down in here on the bike rim like this and they'll catch so you'll have really good traction with with the tabs facing that way Otherwise, if you put them this way, they're going to slip. Okay, so let's try putting this, this belt on, making sure the tabs are pointing in the opposite direction of rotation. So here's rotation direction, tabs are facing that way. I'm going to go ahead and loop it around. The belt will have a tendency to want to flip over, but that'll, that'll be okay, uh, go away. When, once you do your final um, few steps. So let's kind of bring this around here and okay, now we're gonna put the belt together, turn the tab here sideways, put it through, wiggle it now it's together and now you're going to roll it onto the generator so first of all take it off of um, this top end here give it some slack that way and put it on the generator and just kind of roll it onto the rim here let's see here actually go backwards and now it's on And you should be able to you should be able to uh, push a little bit here and have it give a little bit. This seems to be a tiny bit too tight, but we'll try it out and see. The way you know this is slipping is if this gets real hot, the pulley gets real hot, and uh, it shouldn't get that hot at all. 